Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to discuss about how to find out center of pressure for an irregular shaped plan with a case study. If you want to know the basics about the center of pressure, you can check out my previous video lecture. Let me read the problem. Find the center of pressure and blanking force procured for the blank shown in figure. The shear strength of the material is 40 kg per millimeter square and thickness of the blank is 2 mm. So this is the irregular shape which is given. For that we need to find out the center of pressure. So first we have to find the different elements which are associated in the feature. So here the first one is the vertical line and the second entity is the semi circle which has a radius of 1.5 centimeter and the third feature is the slanting line and the fourth feature is the another slanting line and fifth one is the, this horizontal line and sixth entity is the this circular section okay so this plan consists of this irregular shape as well as this circular section so the reference axis is here this one is x and this one is y we are going to find out the center of pressure for the irregular shaped plan with respect to this x and y axis so we have got six different elements in this entire plan so the first one is this line which has the length of 4 cm because this first entity has a length of 4 cm that is 2.5 plus 1.5 which is equal to 4 cm okay so here it is the element length is in centimeter now we are going to find out the x and y that is the center of pressure for this entity alone from the reference axis to find out the x this is the reference axis that is the distance from y here it is zero because it exactly lies on the y reference axis so it is zero and for y it is the this center from the this reference axis x so the y bar distance is 4.25 which is here plus this this entire length is 4 so this distance is going to be 4 by 2 so 4.25 plus this entire distance that is 4 divided by 2 that is 6.25 so this line center is located 6.25 centimeter from the x-axis which is 4.25 plus this entire distance divided by 2 okay so then the next two term represents the multiplication of l and x and l and y so here we can get this value by multiplying this l that is the element length with x and y now let us consider the section 2 section 2 is a semicircle the element length is the perimeter of the semicircle okay so that is 2 pi r divided by 2 for circle it is 2 pi r for semicircle the perimeter is 2 pi r divided by 2 we know the r value that is 1.5 so if we substitute this r value here we can get the element length for the second feature which is the semicircle now let us see how to calculate the x bar so it is symmetrical about this axis so here you can see the x bar value is this entire distance that is 3 divided by 2 that is the radius of this circle so the 1.5 is the radius of the circle it is 1.5 centimeter from the y axis so to find out y bar from this point to this point it is 2 r divided by pi so this distance is this distance is 2 r divided by pi from this point to the center of pressure of this particular entity is 2 r divided by pi okay and this line is located 8.25 centimeter from the x bar that is 4.25 plus 1.5 plus 2.5 which is 
8.25. So, this center of pressure for the semicircular entity is at a distance of 8.25 centimeter plus 2R divided by pi. By substituting this value, we can get that the center of pressure is located 9.2 centimeter from this reference axis. Okay. Next, we can easily calculate this Lx value by multiplying this L with x and multiplying L with the y. The third entity is a slanting line. We don't know exactly the length of this slanting line. On the other hand, we know that the height of this distance and this horizontal distance. So, what we are going to do is we are going to make a triangle here. So, this distance is known that is 2 and this distance is 2.5. So, we are going to find out the length of the third entity. So, for that we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, it is a right angle triangle. So, which is this length is equal to root of 2.5 square plus 2 square. So, the slanting line length is 3.2 centimeter and then x bar is 2 divided by 2 plus this distance that is we have to calculate this x bar from y axis this reference y axis so it is 3 plus 2 by 2 which is equal to 4 centimeter and the y bar is again this height is 2.5 so it is 2.5 divided by 2 plus the entire length the entire length is 4.25 plus 1.5 which is equal to 5.75 centimeter. So the total length is 7 centimeter. So the Lx and Ly value can be calculated by multiplying L with the x and multiplying L with the corresponding y value. Now the fourth entity is another slanting line. So here also we can take this as a right angle triangle. So this height is 1.5 and this length is 2. So, we are going to calculate the length of this entity 4 which is a slanting length that is root of 1.5 square plus 2 square square which gives the value of 2.5 centimeter. So, how to find out the x bar and y bar? So, here it is located 3 centimeter from the reference axis 3 plus 2 by 2 which is 4 and y bar is 1.5 divided by 2 plus this distance 4.25 so which is equal to 5 centimeter we can calculate the lx and ly by multiplying l with x and l with corresponding y value to get this value okay so now let us calculate the element length for the fifth section that is a horizontal line for that directly we can get the value as 3 centimeter and the x bar value is here it is 3 divided by 2 okay the length is 3 so it is 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 and the y bar value is it is located at a distance of 4.25 centimeter from the this x reference line so it is straight away taken as 4.25 centimeter so the lx and the ly value is obtained by multiplying L with X and L with Y. Okay. And the sixth entity is the circle. So here the perimeter of the circle is the element length for the sixth section. So it is 2 pi r. The diameter of the circle is 0 0.5. So the radius is 0 0.5 divided by 2. The perimeter of this circular section is 1.57. Now let us see how to calculate the x bar. So for this the x bar is directly given that is the distance of center from the reference axis is 1. So straight away we can take that as 1. And y bar value is considered as 0 because it lies exactly on the reference line. So there is no distance it is 0. The lx and ly value is calculated. Now let us see how to calculate the total length. So we are going to add all the lengths together to find out the total length of the this entire plan. So we have to add the element length of feature 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we got the value of 
18.98 centimeter and then we have to calculate the summation of LX value so we have to add these terms together to calculate this value and it is 35.92 square centimeter and then we are going to calculate the summation of L y which is equal to 115.98 square centimeter so the x bar value is sigma l x over sigma l so that means this term divided by this term so this value is 1.89 centimeter and y bar is sigma l y divided by sigma l and y bar value is 6.1 centimeter okay so now we have obtained the center of pressure for the irregular shaped plan and which is 1.89 centimeter and 6.1 centimeter that is 1.89 comma 6.1 so this is the center of the plan this is 1.89 centimeter from the reference axis y and 6.1 centimeter from the reference axis x yes. now let us calculate how to find out the blanking force of this irregular shaped blank how to calculate the blanking force blanking force is equal to shear strength of the material multiplied by thickness of the sheet metal strip multiplied by total length of the blank so if you want to find out the blanking force we need to know the total length of the blank okay so shear strength of the material is given as 40 kilogram per mm square and thickness of the blank is 2 mm and we have calculated the total length of the blank as 18.98 centimeter now let us substitute all those value in this equation to calculate the blanking force so here since all these two values are in millimeter we have converted this centimeter into millimeter so this value is 40 and thickness is 2 and length is 189.8 millimeter by multiplying these three things together we got that value was 15,184 kilogram. We can convert this value into kilonewton that is 151.84 kilonewton. So in this lecture we have seen how to calculate the center of pressure as well as force secured for the planking operation. Thank you for watching.